You might feel like being tanned makes you look healthier, but did you know using tanning beds increases your chance of a skin cancer called a squamous cell carcinoma by 58%. Hi, I'm Dr. Sean Demehri, a dermatologist at Mass General Cancer Center. So what is a squamous cell carcinoma? It's a skin cancer that starts in the squamous cells. These are one of the three kinds of cells in the top layer of the skin. It's most often caused by exposure to harmful ultraviolet rays from the sun and in the tanning beds. Squamous cell carcinoma is most common on the face, scalp, and hands, but it can show up anywhere on your skin. You're more likely to get it if you have fair skin and hair and a history of multiple sunburns. This cancer usually grows slowly, but it can eventually grow deep into the skin, spread to lymph nodes and nearby tissues and bones. So what does squamous cell carcinoma look like? These skin cancers look like small bumps that are inflamed. They may also look flat, rough, or scaly. If you have lighter skin, you may see red bumps. If you have darker skin, however, you may see red, purple, or dark brown bumps. Your skin may feel itchy or sore, or you might not notice any difference. If you have had an HPV or human papillomavirus infection, you could develop a squamous cell carcinoma in your mouth or on your genitals or anus. This is another reason why HPV vaccination to prevent HPV in the first place is important. Squamous cell carcinoma of the skin is easy to mistake for an age spot or acne. If you have a sore or a scab that won't heal for a month or two, uh, you should tell your primary care provider or dermatologist. The sooner we find the skin cancer, the easier it is for us to treat and hopefully remove it. How do we diagnose squamous cell carcinoma? We will look at your skin and examine your entire body to look for any signs of suspicious spots. If we think you might have cancer, we may do a skin biopsy. During this office procedure, we will remove a tiny bit of the skin and examine in our lab. We may also use this procedure to remove the entire growth. Depending on your risk factors, you may want to get an annual skin screening from a dermatologist, and everyone should check their skin for any changes each month. So how is the squamous cell carcinoma treated? When it's detected early, squamous cell carcinoma is almost always curable. Your treatment options will depend on several factors, including the size and location of the skin cancer and your health. Most of the time, we remove a squamous cell carcinoma with surgical procedures. We have several surgical options. Excision, where we cut away the cancer and some nearby tissues. Most surgery, where we remove the tumor in thin layers electrodesiccation and curettage, where we scrape away the cancer and use an electrode to destroy the remaining cells, and cryosurgery, where we use liquid nitrogen to freeze and destroy the tumor cells. We also have advanced treatments to treat precancerous lesions, like topical chemotherapy cream that is spread on your skin. This cream is also great for smaller skin cancers and has fewer side effects than other treatments. Photodynamic therapy, or PDT, is another advanced cream-based drug it's activated by light and kills tumor cells. In fact, more recently, we have developed a topical immunotherapy that has shown high effectiveness in removing tumor cells in the skin. If the cancer spreads, we may also use radiation to destroy cancer cells or systemic immunotherapy to help your immune system fight off the cancer. Remember that squamous cell carcinoma is easy to treat when we catch it early. The five-year survival rate is in fact 99%. So make sure to see your doctor as soon as you notice changes in your skin. Thanks for watching. I'm Dr. Sean Demehri. To learn more about skin cancer, click here and don't forget to subscribe.